in the kitchen making a perfect pesto for your pasta. That's right. And joining us is Chef Raquel Rivera from A Pinch of Salt. We always love having you on. Hi. Thank nice you. Nice to see you. Ooh, this Same smells here. delicious. It looks great. So this is the thing. This is a cheat. So that I woke up and I was like, what am I going to prepare, right? So sure. you think about, you know, um, real life being that way, right? So I thought, we always have pasta on hand. Yep. Peas were in the freezer. Okay. And then asparagus I actually had in my crisper. Okay. All right? So I just basically took some asparagus. So you know when you're dealing with them, I, I like them when they're nice and thin. Right. And so normally to tell, right, you just snap the bottom off. And then that's where you can take a knife and cut the rest of them at. Okay. And then I just cut them diagonally. We didn't know that trick. I never oh, Because, no <laughs> you know, I sometimes you buy it with the rubber band. On. Yeah. And so if you pop one, it kind of gives you the idea of like what the rest of it is kind of uh, like to dispose of and what to use. Right. So we got that and then frozen peas, which we thought. So we cook pasta, right? You bring a pot water to sure. a boil, cold water always. Once the water comes to boil, we add salt, salty like the sea. Added the pasta. In this case, it's penne. You're thinking. Yeah. Did you pick penne on purpose, or can you do did. anything? You did. You did. Okay. I, you know, if I, I, I did. It's a um, pesto sauce. I kind of wanted some of the sauce to kind of oh, go inside of so the noodle. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, so that's it. So our water came to boil, and then the the, the asparagus you can blanch. So the idea of blanching. I'm, is I'm taking them. You're just gonna throw them in the water. <laughs> I, I can call sure you blanch. Boiling water. <laughs> no, thank you. Just throw it in. Uh huh. That's okay. It? You would give it a couple of minutes. And okay. what I did it before this, when I prepped that one. I counted how long the pasta needed in the water, which was, this was an 11-minute pasta. Right at the 10-minute mark, I added the asparagus in, so okay. it becomes a one-pot meal. Oh, that's so easy. It. So yeah. you cook it for one minute, that's it. That's it. And it, you, you don't cut it, you do it just the Well, thing. you would have cut it you on you your cut, thing. Oh, okay. for, for this sake, we're just going to keep them this way. But okay. you, what you want to keep is that nice... Kind Bright of brightness, green, right? you know, and the water is hot, so yep. it's definitely. But the idea is to keep it nice and bright. And you would put it in cold water or ice water to kind of um, stop the cooking and keep the brightness. Okay. All right. So, for our pan, we're going to make our sauce. So we're going to. This is simple enough. Where you would just get your pan up. Okay. All right. We're going to go on. Oops. Sorry. All right. And then we're going to add olive oil. You want me to add a little? Yeah. Okay. Add a little bit of oil. You're going to get the pasta in. What's coming next? Pesto? Pasto. Uh, pasta. <laughs> pasta. Pasta. <laughs> get your, That's get some, right in not here. the whole thing, just get half of it in. Some okay. of it has already the asparagus in. The pesto we're going to add once the heat is off, okay. right? So you yep. can get some of that in. Right, just get one scoop. Okay. Not too much? That's good. Okay. And then we're going to mix it up and get some peas in. Okay. And that's your dish. All right. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, and so it's easy. a fast. Yeah, and then you want to reserve some of your pasta water to kind of make this sauce come together because otherwise it looks pretty thick. Right. All right. And so where's your, where's the little spoon we had? Good. Pasta water goes in and we give it a mix and some Parmesan cheese. Okay. And that's your dish. And that's wow, your dish. I like yeah. that. Mix that all up. Let's see what it looks like. So are you still doing cooking classes? I am. I do um, either. Private cooking classes in people's homes or events. Great. So. Oh, look at you in action. We have some pictures. Where's oh, this? Oh, that's some of my students. So that's Dave's Angry Hot Sauce, and that was Betsy, who does empanadas at the farmers markets. Oh. Yeah. So, so you do. Yeah, you do a lot of lessons if people like me need help with trying to come up <laughs> with things to cook every day. It, with every day, or if they're um, trying to become food entrepreneurs themselves. Okay. What so is your uh, website? It's uh, pinchasalt.com. Great. Can we find farmers markets during the winter or not so much? Not so much. Well, not in Bridgeport just yet, but Got it's it. on the way. On the way. We'll on look for way. it then. All right. Sarah, that's thank it. Thank you so much. Thanks for lunch also. Thank it looks, you. It looks great. All right. Bye. -bye.